All right, hello everyone. My name is you and welcome to Better Gaming. So in this video, I want to show you how to set up the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on your emulated Nintendo Switch, which is in this case Yuzu on your computer. I will also show you quickly how to do this on Ryu Jinx. I would say let's don't talk too much and start. You want to right click the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and then you want to click here on Open Mod Data Location. And as you can see, I have here all already like three folders inside and you will have like nothing inside normally. So what you want to do is actually go back to the Discord server and if you scroll here a little more underneath the forum category you will find forum custom firmware. Now if you go here inside you will uh, see this Zelda TOTK FPS stabilization plus mods. Alright and what I did here is now firstly I put it like the zip inside of Yuzu. So what you need to do is actually just download that. You can open that up. And as you can see here, we will have like 60 and 30 FPS patches, all right? Uh, try out like the 60 FPS, TOTK, Yuzu fix and visual fixes. Dynamic also needs to be inside for that we have like 100% best quality inside the game. Put all those three things here inside, all right? And once you did this, I also would uh, like recommend to you to update like the game. So if you have like the update file after you have like the game here, uh, which you see, and you have like the update file, you will just need to click here on install files to NAND, exactly. And uh, then you will just need to search like for your update file. You can click on open and then at the very end install as you can see here. But I already have it as you can see here, update 1.1. What I want to show you here is actually if you go to emulation and configure that you actually can uh, like copy paste everything which I have here like set it up, right? Just make sure that you have like everything copied like me here. Make sure on the CPU that you have like automatic on accuracy. The graph Graphics very very important. The API needs to be on Vulkan so that you can actually use your GPU. Otherwise, you wouldn't use your graphics card, which is like which isn't like um, which isn't very good for your FPS, right? The resolution you can play here a little bit. You can play a little bit with it. If you have like still very very low FPS, you can actually change this here and have like much much less uh, graphics and resolution. But at the very end, it is fluid, and you know if it's docking all the time, this here is definitely worth it. So you can actually also try this out here, all right? If your computer is like a high-end computer, it shouldn't be like a problem to go here up to three, etc. But my computer isn't right now the strongest, so I'm staying here on one time. And even sometimes I even maybe need to go on more down, but I will show you now here the thing if you don't like the resolution here more down you will have like another option and i will show it to you uh, afterwards and if we go here to advanced you will need to click here on force maximum clocks vulcan only and this should be actually everything on yuzu if you uh, if you click here on controls and you have like like me right now a controller uh, connected to your computer you can click here on input device and you can choose which one you want to use now here it's very cool as you can see if i just move here a little bit around it directly i just needed to click here on it and it's directly like i synchronized like the whole con uh, controller uh, to the system which is on Rio jinx not the case so this is definitely a big point here for yuzu what we do right now is just to click here on okay and we will try to start it once right now all right now the thing is also as you can see here we have our six the FPS not right now but it's going up to 60 okay and as you can see now like if your computer is still lagging and not because of like the settings or something is wrong with the game but simply your computer isn't strong enough this is like for me the case actually I can't be a hundred percent here on the 60 FPS as you can see sometimes it has its lags like don't get me wrong it's playable but it's not that good and yeah if it's still laggy if it's all the time laggy for you you can still click here on F5 for actually closing the software, all right? Look at my little Yoda here. Isn't he sweet? Afterwards, you can once again go to the graphics settings. If it's still laggy, then you can still here go to this experimental resolutions, which are 0.5x or 0.75x. I'm going now here to handhold. You can uh, play as much as you want to around and I showed you now uh, which settings uh, you should like have or play around a little bit. Now as you can see I, we have here like no AA, we can have like if FXAA or like SMAA, but no AA is like right now good. And here as you can see if you click here on, on that you, you can uh, like change the resolution technology at the very end. And uh, I like FSR like the most. And as you can see, you, we, we can change uh, between docked and handheld, handheld, which the difference is very clear that you have like a better resolutions on docked because handheld is, uh, I guess, a 7, 720p and uh, docked is like 1080. And at the very end, 
You can also here go to GPU high for overclocking even your GPU, all right? And I think with these configurations, you are perfectly fine. Like the very last thing for user which helped like the most people is actually firstly open up control panel, uh, search for system, go inside, find here a display, then scroll down until you find graphics, click on it. And at the very end, you will need to click here on Bros. So th then go to desktop uh, where you have like the uh, Yuzu X, click on add, I already did this. Then you can click on it, click on options, and uh, then click here on high performance and at the very end save. Like most guys who have like problems with Yuzu at the very beginning, this helps like to 90% all of you. Those are like the settings which you need for Yuzu, for that it works actually. Uh, now we are jumping to Ryu Jinx, alright? Yeah, okay. Actually this game here, you want to right click it. And you want manage title updates, etc. You can click here on add and then go to where you have like the update of Zelda. Then click on save, etc. It will save it, install it. You will f see it here as 1.1. Very important. Right click it once again and at the very end, click on open mods directory. All right, and as you can see, you once again need to have like here folders for putting them inside. So what we want to do is actually go to the forum category and then forum custom firmware and Zelda TOTK FPS stabilization plus mods. And then you will just need to click here on Zelda Fix 60 FPS, uh, the Ryu Jinx 1.1. Just download that, you will get like this zip file and then put all those four files here inside, alright? And once you did that, you can actually close it. If you want to add like a controller or something like this, click here on player 1, configure, and then click here on like the controller which you have. And then here it's like a little bit different. If you want to add like the controller, you don't you just uh, auto connect it, you will need to do everything on your own, okay? So if you want to add A with the controller, you will need to click here with the mouse once on it, and then you can click on it, like that, okay? Once you did this, you can just close that, apply, save, boom. Here we will see our FPS quote, and as you can see, we can here change between handheld and docked if you click on it, okay? Once again, the resolution which changes, we can change the resol uh, resolution itself. What's very cool here, instead of the Yuzu, we can change everything inside the game without uh, needing to leave the game for actually uh, change like the graphics. So what I want to say here right now is if we if we have like enough strong computer, we can go up, apply, save with the resolution and we still have like our FPS code which we want to have. Like right now I have like less than 60, like uh, even not even 40. But the problem is right now that I'm recording and doing like everything at the same on my computer which isn't like right now the strongest. I would just uh, here also make sure that you have Vulcan, uh, Vulcan installed in the gra uh, graphics. Then uh, choose your strongest graphic card of course, resolution scale. Here you can go down whatever you want to have here at the very end. So you can see if I go four times up, it looks very, very, very psych nice. If I go down, it looks like this. And then even here handhold uh, change to docked. Let me show to you here quickly. As you can see, this is docked, this is handheld, this is docked, this is handheld, this is docked. And even uh, if you are docked and go to the settings, with the gra graphics up, save. It looks very beautiful. As you can see. Right. Isn't that nice, guys? Yes, guys. This was the video about Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on Yuzu and Ryu Jinx. And I will definitely right now search for uh, like the fixes on the Switch. I almost have it on the Nintendo Switch. I just need like one or two little things to change. All right guys, I really hope you liked this video. Make sure to leave a like if you did, make sure to subscribe if you aren't right now, and I hope I'll see you in the next video. My name is you, don't you ever forget to smile. I love y'all, peace.